Real quick video on mix, adding mixed numbers. Okay, so we're gonna follow the same four corner model whenever we add mixed numbers, just like whenever we add fractions. So if we don't have a common denominator, like halves and thirds, we're gonna find a common denominator. Some of you already might have one in mind. If you don't, list your multiples until you find something that they have in common. Remember, you wanna find the least common multiple. So here, halves, so multiples of two, I find two, four, six, eight, 10. Multiples of three, three, six, nine, 12. Oh, there's six. So I'm gonna go ahead and find six as my common denominator. So we find a common denominator. Now, whenever we add, we always add vertically, or we line them up vertically so that we can keep with our same place values. One and three and one half plus two and one third. Can't do that, so I have to find their equivalent fraction for six. Two times what is six? Two times three. So we do the same to the top. One times three is three. Three times what is six? Three times two. So one times two is two. So now I have three six plus two six. Well, I can do that. Three six plus two six is five six, or you can do it down here, either way. Okay, now we can add our whole numbers. Three plus two is five. So I have five and five six. Now you always, your last step, okay, super important, always check to see if you can simplify this fraction. Um, your whole numbers should stay your whole number. You can't make it simpler, but always check to see if this can be simplified. Now five is one away from a whole, so we know that's in simplest form, so we're good. If not, try to simplify the fraction, but don't forget to keep the whole number with it. Hope this helps.